When it comes down to dollar per horsepower, there are some cars out there that do it just really, really well and some that, well, just don't do it at all. Whether it's help from depreciation or maybe just not a lot of people want those cars anymore. It is what it is. Either way, the fact of the matter is the horsepower and speed is pretty accessible if you're looking in the right place. What's going on everyone? Gels from Fitment Industries and today we're gonna be going over some of the best fast cars that you can pick up on a budget. Before we go ahead and get right into the video for today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and feel free to drop a like on the video as well. It really helps us out a ton. And of course, you already know, wheels, tires, and suspension, fitmentindustries.com right now, available, your car, all sort of good stuff. Go on, check it out. We got giveaways going on most of the time, but a bunch of good stuff over there, you know, maybe for your next fast car that you may be picking up on a budget and need some wheels, tires, suspension for. Anyway, now this is not by any means a sleeper list. These are going to be cars that you can go find right now relatively easily and for a decent price that's going to fill your need for speed so to say what better way to start out the video than talking about one of the all-time favorite american v8 coupes that shoot bald eagles out the tailpipes that's right the chevrolet corvette specifically the c6 generation of the corvette the sixth generation of the homegrown sports car ran from the years 2005 all the way up to 2013. when they first hit the lots in 2005 and early 2006 the base models were sporting a six liter ls2 v8 engine that produced 400 brake horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque it's also the same engine that they used in the gto at the time so you know if the corvette really ain't your style really ain't your thing maybe go check out a 2006 gto or something either way the first few years of these cars packed the ls which was later switched up for the 6.2 liter ls3 in 2008 as years went on and the introduction of the z06 and the zr1 variants came about so did some new and bigger engines such as the 7 liter ls7 and the 6.2 supercharged LS9. And I wish I could tell you that you can go pick up an LS7 or an LS9 C6 vet right now for around 15 to 16 grand, but you can't really do that because I would be lying. However, because of the introduction of the bigger engine vets, the base models with the 6 liter LS2 have become quite reasonable in price, landing right around that 16 to $20,000 range. Available in an automatic or manual option, we've started to see a lot of enthusiasts who are seeking some power and a straight line speed to start to snag up these lower price Corvettes because they can be easily modified, they're reliable, and you know it's it's a Corvette. I mean, if you can keep up with all the dad jokes and the rock a pair of white New Balances, it's not a bad trade for a 4.2 second zero to 60 and 190 mile per hour top speed. Switching over from our good old American V8s that we've come to know and love, we get to something completely different and like completely different. A twin turbo German inline six known as the N54 found in the lovely E90 335iS. A real drive BMW coupe that has captured the attention of a ton of enthusiasts looking to get into a BMW with, with a decent amount of tuning potential. What is commonly known as the German 2JZ, the N54 engine is a fan favorite of the Euro car world, as long as they've been maintained all right that's a key factor there but with the boosted three liter inline six putting out upwards of 335 horsepower in stock form and being able to push a car from a zero to 16 in 4.5 seconds all around for like 15 to 17 thousand bucks not a bad deal but like i said maintenance is going to be key with these cars as that can play a big role into these cars downfall however these cars and the n54 engine are both amazing with some things like aftermarket downpipes upgraded intercooler and a tune you can get these cars pushing out some pretty impressive horsepower now the stock blocks can hold up very very well which is why these cars and these engines can be so sought after just as in the 335 is platform or just in a straight up swap into any other BMW. Now, I want you to go back a little bit. 2004, 2005, you're old enough to remember that. Hopefully, anyway, Need for Speed Underground 2. You finally unlock the last car in the game and get it to the full star rating to get on the cover of the last magazine that you need to finish the game. And you know what car it was that got you there? It was the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And you know what? It's car number three on the list. And of course, you know we're talking about the VR4. The VR4 3000 GT is one of my all time favorite cars. And I would argue is one of the cars that really got me interested in cars to begin with. The three liter twin turbo V6 fills up the engine bay of these cars. And from the factory can put out 320 horsepower, comparable to none other than the Mark IV Supra. The 3000 GT was all in all way ahead of its time featured things like all-wheel steering active aero and an advanced all-wheel drive system back in the good old days you know when mitsubishi was actually making cool cars 
rip. The trick with the 3000 GTs, however, is that VR4s are getting a little more difficult to find. People are starting to hang onto them a little more as they get more and more rare. However, if you can find one for sale that isn't like showroom condition, you know, it's just your typical used 90s car, you can snag one for right around thirteen dollars to $15,000. With your typical upgrades, you can squeeze out some pretty impressive numbers with the VR4 engine. The fourth and final car on the list for today is another European favorite, this time from Audi, the B8 generation Audi S4. With the 330 horsepower produced by a supercharged 3.0-liter V6, which is not turbocharged, even though the badge says 3.0T, which gets a little bit confusing, but it's whatever, the B8 S4 is a four-door super supercharged all-wheel drive sedan that can be scooped up for literally as low as $10,000. With a facelift that appeared in 2013, also known as a B8.5, the non-facelift years dropped tremendously in values. A lot of people opted out for the more updated version of the car, meaning that these cars are an absolute steal. Even though they are a little unsuspecting, they can look really good with some aftermarket wheels and suspension, and they sound damn good because it's a supercharged V6. Typically, you can find these floating around all sorts of marketplaces and stuff like that, usually with some miles. The key thing here is just make sure that the maintenance is good to go, the cooling system's good, all you know, all your typical European car stuff. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. Let us know what your favorite car on the list was, or if there's a car that you think should have been on the list, let us know down in the comments section below. But of course, don't forget to check out fitmanindustries.com if you're looking for anything wheels, tires, or suspension related. That's kind of our gig. Anyway, I'm Gels from Fitman Industries. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Peace.